Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So I'm going to show you a little clip, and this clip is of Meg Thee Stallion. She's not doing anything on Twitter, and she's not even really saying anything. She's just at the CMT uh, Music Awards, Country Music Awards, and she's just taking pictures. Watch very closely, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to actually talk about this for a little minute. Stop sharing. Megan looked gorgeous in that dress. She looked gorgeous overall. The dress was really pretty. Looked like she had her hair out. Okay. If it was some extensions or whatever, it was her natural hair. It wasn't a straight wig or, or nothing like that. It wasn't a lace front. It wasn't a wig. It's, I, I think that was her hair. Makeup for the occasion. Whoever styled her, styled her beautifully. Not too many accessories. The dress had a really pretty little detail, almost like a play button on the side of it. It was a long dress. It was a full coverage dress. It was form fitting, but it was a full coverage dress, full sleeves, long length, her hair, regular makeup, and just some white accessories to go with the white uh, statement piece on her dress. She looked so pretty. Why they don't style her like that when she be at the BET Awards? Why she ain't styled like that when she being marketed to black women and young black girls? Why she don't look like that when she show up to the black or the predominantly black award shows? Or when she's doing other things that's supposed to be promoted to black women or to black people in general, her black audience. She's got ratchet makeup on. She got lace fronts on. She got all kind of crazy accessories on. She talking crazy. She acting wild. She cussing. She doing all kind of stuff. But over there on that carpet taking pictures, she was very much Megan. Not the stallion. She was Megan. She was Meg. The one that know how to act proper. The one that knows how to be feminine. She's not wasn't even saying anything at all, let alone not cursing or talking crazy or loud talking or doing any nasty gestures or, or anything like that. She was doing none of that. Very, very feminine. Why is she not like that when she, why is she not marketed that way to black women? And now the the people in the comment section was it was real interesting comment section because some people was like, well, she's code switching when she's with her people. She act another way. When you go around other people, you act a different way. And everybody does that every day. She's code switching. But here's my question for the cult, for the people who talk about code switching. Why is it have to be a code switch? Why is it that when we around us, we act a dang fool. And when we get around white folk, we act like we got sense. We wouldn't have to code switch if we had sense all the way around. Wouldn't have to code switch if you had etiquette with our own, if we valued our own and had etiquette around us and knew how to act around us, it wouldn't be a reason to switch because white people don't code switch. 
Not like that. Not in that manner. They they act like they got sense with their friends. And then they act like they got sense when they deal with other people. Because they value their own company actually more than they value being in other people's company. But the reason why black people always got a code switch isn't is, is not always this innocent thing where we're just doing what we're doing in our subculture. And then when we get out in front, the question that you got to ask yourself is that why is our subculture unacceptable, so unacceptable and so crass and so without etiquette that we have to actually switch it up when we go and deal with other demographics and other nationalities and ethnicities of people, when we doing business with them or when we are in um, uh, situations where it's predominantly them. I don't code switch. I was the same person when I was sitting on Anton Daniels platform doing a panel I was the same person when I showed up as Value Taming Money and did SauceCast panel. I did not code switch because I got sense everywhere I go. I had to switch it up. See, that's different than being more relaxed with your family and friends and then you kind of put on your business face because time and place and appropriateness. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when she's marketed to black women, she acts a fool. But when, but, but the CMAs is not a black dominated audience. It's a white one. And whoever is in charge of her PR and stuff like that knew whatever, for whatever reason she was invited there because that's odd anyway. But so I don't really even know what that's about. I don't follow. I don't know. Does she have a collab with somebody? I don't know. Did they do a crossover? I don't know why she's at the CMAs. Okay. But she's there, which is odd. But aside from the oddity of that, she's there and the audience is not black. So therefore, whoever is her uh, PR person and her managers, and her handlers decided that she shouldn't show up as the persona of Meg the Stallion. That's not what that audience is going to intake, but they will take Megan. They're not going to take Meg the Stallion, the one that did WAP. They don't take her. But if she come in as Megan, elegant, feminine, beautiful, they'll take her. Now, why come she can't be elegant and feminine and beautiful in front of bl young impressionable black girls hmm you gotta understand where the okie doke is coming from black women you being played from all, every side you are being played daddy zaddy got you played from every side because when he market black women to other black women, he only market the ratchetry and, and the triflingness of you, the worst appearance of you, the worst behavior among you. That's what get put and paraded in front of you. But when it's time to be in front of his audience and white girls and young white girls, they don't want to hear that. You're going to be a woman over there. You better not show up with them little platform heels and twerk on that carpet. You better not. You're going to get in here. I don't know if they had her on stage or performing or presenting. I don't know what they had her doing. But she did it with some kind of etiquette. She did that with some kind of class. You're not going to get up there and be ratchet. This is the same one that's got a song talking about she clatch it. She classy and ratchet. This is the same one. that's Y'all know her songs. Y'all know. Google them. Y'all know her songs. If you don't know her songs, Google them. This is the one talking about she on her thought-ish and all that type of stuff with a crazy video. This her. Showed, and she looks so pretty. I must say. 
I must say, at that event, that's the prettiest I've ever seen, Megan. Very feminine, very pretty. Why she can't be that at BET? Why she can't be that at VH1? Why she can't be that at, on Soul Train or whatever? Why she can't be that? Why she can't make songs that match that persona? Why she got to make all these ratchet songs and be stupid when she's being marketed to black? And understand that it is a marketing thing. That is marketing. And they got young black women and some of you older ones trying to pattern after a mockery of you. A mockery of black women. Pay attention. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hello, my Crimsonites and all of my supporters. I invite you to go and get your copy of my new book, Reclaiming the Black Feminine, The Lies of Feminism and the Road to Recovery, on sale now at crimsoncure.com. This is guaranteed to change your perspective and positively impact your life. So go ahead now to crimsoncure.com and get your copy today.